Cue, Cue the, the intro, intro music. music. <laughs> Why do I like it so much? <laughs> it's ridiculous. Hi, welcome to Art Friends. We're friends who do art. I'm with Colin Comma and Opalia. Today we're Hello. talking about the influence of media on art, and I cut them off. <laughs> <laughs> the level of professionalism, unbelievable. <laughs> Beyond. Beyond human comprehension at this point. <laughs> yes, today's uh, topic is media and how it influences, influences us. <laughs> I cannot yeah. brain today. How media influences art, ideas, creativity, all that good stuff. And actually, uh, today we have a guest you might not have noticed, but uh, Koda turned Australian and also female. Uh, everyone, which is actually just Apalia, uh, <laughs> say welcome <laughs> to Birdwood. Welcome, Birdwood. I'm everyone and no one. Wow, that's deep. Thank but you I for Birdwood. having me on this. Great podcast. You have, you, you have one minute uh, to introduce yourself. Timer starts now. Okay, cool. Uh, I'm Birdwood. I know it's a ridiculous name. I chose it in like year four and it's stuck. It's too late to change it and I don't know what to do. I like to draw. I like superheroes and I like to draw superheroes, I guess. Yeah, sure. Oh, I just realized that I had to do an art trade with Birdwood and I still forgot it. No! No! If <laughs> you don't! <laughs> I'm sorry, but <laughs> it's okay. This is criminal. <laughs> <laughs> Punishable by. Uh... How long ago was that? That was uh, probably like January. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Uh, um. <laughs> no wonder why you haven't done that much on trades, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> oh Jesus. Yeah, it's no, it was the last gaming. message that we sent about it was on the 9th of March. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> and, um, <laughs> I guess I have to leave that friends was. podcast. Bye. Yeah. <laughs> no, yeah, the first one was the um the first of February. <laughs> well, <laughs> <laughs> Talked about it in the last two episodes. Hello. <laughs> yeah, our traits are very good to do. You know, they're super helpful. And, you know, you can get scammed on them sometimes. <laughs> uh, Said the scammer. I have been somewhat scammed on an art trade once. Not scammed. That's definitely the wrong word. Yeah. Anyhow. Uh, yeah. <laughs> that's not today's topic. <laughs> we can today, cut that out. It's fine. We're talking about all the that's media. True. And stuff, and TV shows, and movies, and comics, or whatever we would like to consume. Actually, what do you guys tend to consume, like, generally, on a daily basis, on a weekly basis? Food and oh. water. Oh, okay. <laughs> sorry. Okay, Opalia. Uh... I'm sorry, yes, but you start. Uh, food and water, I guess. Sorry, that <laughs> that is yep. a dumb joke. <laughs> but no, um... Inspirational media, food and water. Yeah, no, you honestly though, food. honestly though, it yeah. actually can start with food like uh, cereals, like they have I mean, lo- those little cereal mascots. mascots. Yeah, there's so many still lives too. So, yes, See? I was right, not just being an idiot. Um, <laughs> my biggest but, yeah, I like has been a glass of water. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds legit. Yeah, no, but. In all seriousness, um, I like superhero movies, Marvel stuff, uh, comedy stuff, TV shows such as like The Mandalorian, Brooklyn Nine-Nine, The Good Place, um, YouTube, that kind of thing, but also other people's art. (laughs) I love how you said that kind of thing when talking about YouTube while being in a YouTube video. Uh, Yes. This is, imagine watching YouTube. I am definitely not subscribed to 650 channels. Uh, what? How do you have the that's... time to watch that? Oh, yeah, I forgot. I have something okay. I have to watch. <laughs> <laughs> yes, if you're listening to this on YouTube, it's a great way to consume media to inspire you to do art. So Yes, consume yeah. us. That sounded highly the Art Podcast. No, Ophalia. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yes. Keep your imagination out of this. I imagine that could be hard. <laughs> this this episode's already like the pinnacle of comedy. I think we can just stop recording here. All right. Craig leave. Yep. Be gone, Craig. Bye, Craig. <laughs> For anyone okay. who doesn't know how we record this, it's going to be very confusing just to be, hey, the episode's over now. Bye, Craig. Bye, Craig. Bye, Craig. You're Craig. <laughs> if someone's named Craig and they're listening to it, so... Craig, you can stay. Don't stop watching. Craig, don't stop now. <laughs> See what Poor I did person there. watching this called Craig. Don't worry, Craig. We are your biggest fan. We do not know you, but we like you. Please don't be a murderer. <laughs> Oh no. <laughs> yeah, oh, we, talked about, look like a we talked about cereal earlier. Oh no. <laughs> Indeed. I guess we stand cereal killers. Oh. Oh, okay. Oh, well, <laughs> we've already mentioned cereal killers. And <laughs> this is going very well. <laughs> That's very well. Topic. I will actually cut the <laughs> part out yes. because, you know, Good. YouTube. <laughs> so, Birdwood, yeah. what do you like about those uh, shows? Like, I know Brooklyn Nine Nine is very like comedy esque, and do you think that influences your like art and style in any way? Or uh, yeah, well, I guess um, when I'm drawing, I'll either you know watch YouTube a TV show or listen to music on the side. So I guess having that there, like it would subconsciously influence what I'm doing if I have Brooklyn Nine Nine playing while I'm drawing. But also, um, I don't think. Brooklyn Nine Nine influences my art as much as, say, Marvel movies because I draw a lot of Marvel stuff and comic art and that kind of things like influence my style. So I reckon it's more other types of media I consume that influence my art. Hmm. What about you guys? That's very fun, actually. <laughs> well, that delay though. Yeah, sorry. Uh, <laughs> it, that wasn't a Discord delay. Well, it's just my brain. Uh, yeah, I had that delay. Doesn't mean that I'm in Discord. <laughs> Sorry. Anyhow, Apavia. Yeah. Oh, God. Uh, yeah, you're being put under pressure now. What kind of media do you like to consume? Um, Mostly, most media I consume are actually just manga and anime. But when I think about it, like, a lot, um, it's also other artists that I see. And... Like uh, music that inspires me. Mostly, I'm more like I listen to something and I'm like, whoa, that inspires me. Because when I was a child, um, I had like a bad case of ADHD that is definitely medical. It actually was. I had to take medicine for that. And um, my dad just thought I was annoying. <laughs> so he put on like a cassette with like music and was like, draw what you hear. And since then, I'm just like drawing what I hear. That explains a lot. Bananas. Ugh, I do not like music with bananas in it. You will now draw bananas. Anyhow. Have I, have I missed That's something? Cool. Is there a genre of banana music or something? Yeah, so, that's really... yeah, that was a, that was a very cool answer. Like, I don't want to just yeah. ignore that, but I'm very confused by this banana music thing. Cohen, are you inspired yes. by banana music? I am. That that is my sole inspiration. That and the glass of water are my sole inspirations. I don't need anything else. But, Imagine uh, episode two when you talked about water. But that's pretty interesting, Apalia. Like drawing what you hear. Yes. Also, how did you talk about the media you consume without mentioning freaking FMA Brotherhood? Because Ow. bark apparently. <laughs> Because bark. <laughs> yeah. did, you, did you hear the dogs? Please tell me you hear the dog and then yeah, not. We, we, I we didn't did. hear the dogs. We yeah, we heard the dog. Them. Good. I do not want to sound like a furry. <laughs> <laughs> as soon as you said that, they started barking again. <laughs> yes, I know. Apparently, they do not like furries. Yeah. Anyways, um, because. Well, Brotherhood is a big inspiration, just like Avatar The Last Airbender. How many times did you watch it again? Yeah, didn't it increase like two times in a month? Like, didn't you watch it two more times in one month? Yeah, <laughs> two times would be a few. Oh no. <laughs> I am now at 87 and I'm right now at the 
second season episode eight. Wait, how many oh, wow. seasons does it have again? It has five with even, uh, an even uh, distribution of 13 episodes, I think. Jiminy Crickets. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, Cohen, what type of media do you like to consume? Uh, oh, yeah, well, term, whoopsie. Yeah. <laughs> Hello. Well, uh, basically, whenever I'm just bored in class or whenever, or when I'm eating breakfast, I will just uh, open up Twitter or Instagram and browse through people's feed and then start comparing myself to others and then just uh, die from <laughs> self-deprecation. Uh, sometimes I do that, but in general, I watch a stupendous amount of YouTube videos related to art because I like that stuff. Podcasts, just 10 minutes videos, more on the entertainment side, like uh, watch me draw, you know. Mm -hmm. And recently, I've also been getting a bit more into Netflix, and I uh, watched uh, Avatar The Last Airbender, which I enjoyed quite a lot. So that's fun. It I is a very fun show, but we should and... not go on another show tangent. I haven't seen it. Again, I feel like I'm just missing out on all the good shows here. Oh my god, it. watch it! We did watch the first season of Legend of Korra for school, so, for some reason. No yeah. one Australian schools. Let's watch anime. <laughs> well, it was meant to be for like sustainability or something. I mean, that is a good topic it, actually to use Korra for. Yeah, because it and it was cultural sustainability as well because it you know got kind of the more traditional elements of um the culture it was based off and then combined it with all these cool new technological you know advancements what that is? And, like fights and that kind of thing. So you know what beautiful Perfect. thing that is. It's steampunk. Let's sorry. see. Apalia. Listen, I think that might have been a part of our topic too. Uh, click. There we go. So, Very nice. um... <laughs> <laughs> oh, hi. Hi, Ophelia. <laughs> I do not want to sound like a puppet talking to you all again. <laughs> God, I hate I you. Okay, so Cohen, I heard you were saying something like Instagram and stuff. Yeah, well, what's the apps we are using for, like, posting out, for example? I wasn't done with something, but that's fine. I do not uh, care. Okay. <laughs> so. <laughs> what were you saying? Oh, Valia, what app for social media do you like to use? Wait, Cohen. We yeah. do not skip you. I'm sorry. I'm a mess. It's too uh, early for me. It's okay. freaking 12 p.m. It's... <laughs> <laughs> it's it's almost one pm. Come on. <laughs> Anyhow, uh, I also another type of media I like to consume is video games, and for video games, oh. uh, hey, I like to play with friends, and uh, like I played video games a tiny bit before I was an artiste, uh, uh, but really. A thing that a funny thing that uh, happens when you're an artist is that you just start noticing art everywhere. So I just can't uh, play a video game without constantly saying like, "Oh, that's a nice design. Yeah, that's a, <gasps> yeah." And I have, I Whenever have my the... friends talk to me about anything, movie, video game, I'm just like, "Oh, the graphics are cool," and then I feel like an idiot because I've just talked about the art, nothing else. And, I've, yeah, yeah. and I'm not like, <laughs> "Hey, that's cool. Thanks for showing me." I'm like, "Ooh." The drawings look good. <laughs> it's really me when my friend and I were watching uh, Moana. I, I, the whole time I was like, man, that water is so pretty. Look at how realistic that is. And my friend is like, could you shut up? <laughs> <laughs> Movie plots, characters, water. <laughs> like, even the hair Hey, flow, the glass of water comes back yeah. with the inspiration. I told you water was inspiring. Yeah. Didn't I? Yeah. Wait. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. Full circle here. Circle. Yeah. Also, where That's do we good. um? What counts as media? Would calling and texting count? Oh, where do we I draw so. the line? Have fun. Uh, uh. <laughs> 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 that actually got me more than a Yeah, I need to recover from that one. That was too good. <laughs> <laughs> actually, I, where do we draw the line? I think it. I think when you get to like actual conversation, it it uh, it just. Uh, 
it turns into more of an active thing and i i'd say we're going to keep it at like consume consumable things now you know i wasn't gonna talk about influence i was gonna just i was just wondering However, I see. conversations like this within, say, like the guild or on Discord, when it comes yeah. to social media, I use. I have an Instagram account, which everyone listening should follow. And, um, <laughs> Link is in the description. Ah! <laughs> but um, then also, Discord's the only other thing I use for art. And, I mean, we all kind of met on here, so it's good. It works. Yeah. You know? yeah. What? What? Or else would we have? Uh, in the guild. Uh, in real life? Like, what the hell? Who meets on no, the I've, internet? I got your inflatable Lapras, and I rode it over to Europe, and I met you all. Oh yeah, I forgot, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Koda. What? <laughs> well, she got the inflatable Lapras, so it's Koda, obviously. Yeah, that oh, makes yeah. sense. Everybody who has an inflatable Lapras is just Koda. At this point. Automatically, yeah. it doesn't matter what you were named as, like, when you were born. You are a coder now. Y- you're coder. I'm get coder? No that means I'm a better person than I am now. Nice. What? Uh, that's... <laughs> I am a better person than I am now. Down on now. yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Grammar. I know. Um, <laughs> What's that? Can I eat it? Two different ways, Cohen. I was like, no. You're a good person. You're like, your grammar sucks. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone gives Cohen a compliment. Cohen works so hard that it doesn't count anymore. Just, I'm going to do it from now on. Whenever uh, people compliment me, I'm just going to say like, um, "Grandma, you, mis- Grandma you, mis- you misspelled the word," and then they will not <laughs> talk to me ever again. That seems like a good plan. But anyhow, what if I, but... what if I don't misspell? Well, then Cohen. I'm going to say it anyway. Uh... <laughs> Anyhow, Cohen, guys. I guess your um, I guess your username could be changed to Cohen, comma, like the grammatical device. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Cohen, comma. You are making the absolute best puns. Can we have? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> this is the best. Oh my god. Oh my god. What? What? Where were you? Like five episodes ago when we started this podcast? This is episode seven. I cannot math. <laughs> Well, neither can I. It's fine. Imagine you've got math, right? <laughs> so bullying, I'm not bad at I'm just I'm... particularly bad at doing that one maths question, apparently. I'm just, I'm just bullying. I, I've bullied Opali on her grammar and Birdwood on her math so far. Not even bad at but Yeah, it's fine. I don't care. <laughs> Anyhow. Guys, let's get back on top. Get back on track. So, Man, this episode what? is a bigger mess than myself. Yeah, well, don't derail it you. again when I just want to. Owen <laughs> okay. will insult your grammar if you keep insulting yourself. Gosh, <laughs> Watch out. Grammar, uh, anyhow. So, what social media do you guys like to use? Like, what app do you generally like to use the most? So, my favorite is Instagram. Instagram? That's an interesting pick. What do you like about Instagram? It is almost like Instagram, just better. Yeah, I can only agree, really. But like, so what? You what? Instagram what it, what it... is really like Instagram, but better. Yeah. What? You know, sure. <laughs> <laughs> I think that was the new. Oh, probably. Could you get into something? No, no, I got it. Like... I wasn't sure if um I'd heard it wrong, and that there was like a different app that I'd never heard of sounded like Instagram, Perfect. it was called like Instagram or something, because yeah. yeah, it's Instagram. okay, I'm very stupid, we've Instagram. already established that. Yeah, do you know, know Instagram? <laughs> no, no, yeah, sure, 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 sure. Oh, and she yeah, doesn't know Instagram, what the hell? This is unacceptable. Uh, very sorry. We can move on, though. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, what do you like about Instagram? Um, I think it's just the simple interface, also the fact that there's not as much toxic energy as on other apps. Twitter. Um, yeah. <laughs> but I also really like Discord because you can talk to people, be in like servers that are about art and like have a little bit more of an intimate uh, relationship with people. Yeah. Don't take that out of context. 
No, it makes sense. Oh, yeah, no one was going to take anything out of context until you said that. Yeah. Say. Exactly. That's the joke. Anyhow, yeah, but... But, yeah, I, I think I can agree. Like, Instagram is a lot better for, like, actually, like, straight up consuming stuff, like, looking at things and liking them, maybe posting a comment. Yeah. But Discord is more for, like, interacting and actually talking to people. Imagine that oh, on a website that is actually supposed to be about talking to people while playing games. Uh... <laughs> yeah, Instagram and Discord are the only two like, social media things that I have aside from, you know, the, the texting or whatever. Just Messenger. The very average, barely social media stuff. Yes, I will put yeah. everybody's phone number in the description. Oh. Ladies. <laughs> uh... <laughs> oh, oh. I know it. Anyhow, <laughs> yeah. But yeah, some some uh, like I, am, I, I also I'm use Twitter like sometimes, and Twitter is very strange, uh, quite toxic too. So I don't like it as much. But yeah, Instagram and Discord are the way to go, in my opinion, for artists. One thing I do have to say about Instagram, though, it can be extremely toxic too. Yeah, sometimes. Yeah. But it, it really depends. I think I think Instagram does a better job at like filtering out toxic stuff. So if you don't follow anyone or anything that's toxic, then you won't get much toxic stuff. And um, it you've got to keep sight. Uh, like if you join Instagram, it should be to share art for the sake of sharing art, not to like gain followers or anything. And you have to keep yeah. sight of that, because otherwise it could start becoming a bit more wearing. So Definitely. you just kind of have to focus on like why you want to do it if you ever start feeling kind of down about it, I think. We need we need to do a future episode, again with Bert, which is entirely dedicated to social media. We should. I mean, yeah. Nice. I'd love to. Awesome. Be ready for another episode with Birdwood. Even though we're still like three minutes into the first one. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, thank you. Well, we've actually been recording for half an hour now. We we've talked about the kind of media we consume and what do, what we do it on, and like our general uh, like sense of consumerism. No, um, but basically, how does the media that you guys consume influence your art in general? Um. How does the media consume your art? Is that literally no. what you asked? No. no how does, said, how how does, does the, the media, media consume influence consume? our art? Oh, yeah. brain fart. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, my media is consuming my art? What the heck? The media consumes the art. Any, uh... It's eating it because it's a serial killer. <laughs> what is with this episode in serial? I have no idea. It was a joke. Cereal I was tying it all together. Serial <laughs> and yeah. those are Okay, those let's are say serial, guys. Sorry. Why so serial? Uh... <laughs> I got this. That would be another great you know, punchline for like a... Yes? Hang on, you know speeds? Hang on, I gotta, I gotta find it. It's okay, I'll... One second. Uh, uh, but honestly, though, that would be a great T-shirt. The uh, like, boat. Why so serial? Why so serial? And it's just the Joker. Like, it, it's some. Um, yeah. It's a brand deal with DC and some kind of cereal, and it's just the Joker eating a bunch of cornflakes. <laughs> Perfect. Oh, Jesus. Anyhow, Opalia, I'm just going to ask you directly, since no one answered beforehand. How does the media you consume influence your art in, like, subject matter or style or whatever? Why didn't you ask August first? What the heck? Because this time you're going first time. <clears throat> okay. Don't question it. Just do it. Honestly, when I was young... Honestly, when I was younger, I um, mostly was influenced by other artists in a very negative way where I just thought huh, I could do better than them. Like I was 13, do not hate me. And most of the time the things I drew were like creepy pastas because the thing that was big in that time was creepy pastas. Also Five Nights at Freddy's and every other other cringy fandom you can imagine, like I don't know. Um Undertale. Undertale. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> and that was still a thing. At the exact same time. My god. Uh... I feel like every video I've watched that like cr- critiques bad art in a constructive way to kind of give advice and help improve. There's always like weird, weird Undertale or like weird Sonic stuff, and I don't understand it. No, it's I never the, liked the, Sonic though. A lot of it, and no, I don't even know really what Sonic is. I know he's like a hedgehog that runs around getting gold rings, and that's about as far as my knowledge goes. Yeah. Well, he's blue. I have played well, like a that game of them. That's nice. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. I... I derailed it yet again. I will That's be fine. quiet until it's my go. <laughs> That's my bird. What isn't a train? Imagine a train full of birds. A train yes. full of birds. Nice. Just like bogs and stuff. Anyhow, I'll find out. <laughs> yeah. So, that, so that's kind of how it started. You just seeing cringy fandoms online and being like, yeah, well, I can do better. But like, yeah. Uh, does, that, does that still factor in? to your art today, like, the competitiveness or the subject matter, like, you draw a lot of people. Like, where um, did that come from? And how maybe you got certain style elements from certain shows you've watched? Honestly, I guess I now draw more people because I now like people more. Like you. <laughs> Flirt. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Me tries to be nice, Cohen. Just stop. Don't derail it again. Just stop. Don't insult your grammar. Watch yeah, out. Yeah. I'm sorry, my grammar was too bad to compliment you. Yeah. Um, but honestly, I am not any competitive anymore. It's just sometimes I want to like, critique on like Discord, for example, and people are just like, oh, yeah, that looks good. And I'm like... I, I literally asked, like, what do you think about it? Is it really everything? Like, okay. And then later on, when I'm almost finished with the drawing, people are like, yeah, by the way, this and this is kind of wrong. And I'm like, you could have said that in the sketch face. <laughs> yeah. Definitely didn't happen just yesterday. No. I won't. On this small rant, because it is off topic, and I am a good podcast guest who will not derail it. Fantastic. Okay. Birdwood, it's actually your turn. Yay. So, Birdwood, like, the kind of, uh, we talked about this, like, we briefly touched upon it earlier with you, but, uh, like, the kind of shows you watch, uh, does that influence your art and your style? Like, you mentioned being fairly influenced by Marvel superheroes. Yeah, well, um, I think media influences art, and then art influences media, and on and on, and, like, art is a form of media, so I think that's kind of all intertwined. But um, it's That's like deep. personal art. It's ooh, <laughs> so deep. So deeper than Coda's voice. No, it can't be that thing. <laughs> yeah, okay. Anyway, um, I don't know. I've always drawn things related to media in one way or another. So whether it was kind of like, I guess that were kind of overseas, but I didn't realize it at the time. I just, I had some friends and we'd make up characters to fit into different universes and then like so like fan kind of thing in a way sort of but we just like just because you know we'd like star wars so we'd be like oh look we're gonna draw a star wars character in makeup or we'd you know, we'd make a small pokemon region because we liked pokemon um oh, but that now, now, pokemon turn up. yeah yeah it was based off australia actually it was Oh, imagine a Pokemon edition that is based off Australia. Yes, so please. many fire yeah. types. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, man. No. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Oh, God. <laughs> it's okay. Grimer and Gr- Oh, man. Um, um, cut. Grimer and So many fire types. Don't cut that out. Oh man. Anyhow, I think that's the thing that happens uh, very often where artists, they just start. (laughs) 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 Oh, my reactions to things are the greatest. So funny. Oh, God. Anyhow. I just imagine Cohen being like, yeah, that happens fairly often that Opalia burns. What? I'm burning? No. <laughs> that happens fairly often when like artists start, uh, they mm-hmm. just draw like mostly fan art and stuff related to stuff they like because that's that's good actually. 
draw, draw stuff you like and eventually you'll have to branch out you can you you don't need to fall into the trap of just copying stuff and doing fan art forever because then uh you'll they'll ask like hey you got anything original and you're like uh mm, I have. <laughs> but yeah um well, we <laughs> No, with um, I, I've definitely branched out now, but I'm happy that I did all that because I think it it made me a better artist because I was drawing. And I don't when someone's drawing, I don't think it's a matter of when did you start drawing because everyone draws when they're younger. It's a matter of when you stopped. Yeah. So I'm happy that like I could find these things I liked and draw, and then I just kind of haven't stopped since. Although that being said, I still definitely draw like a lot of Marvel stuff, and I've been watching the X Men recently. So that's. Every time I watch it, I don't know why, I just get super inspired. And then I just want to go and draw, but I normally watch it at night, and then there's normally not time to draw, so that's a little annoying, but it's okay. <laughs> yeah, so... No one bird would go on a full-on rant because he couldn't draw. <laughs> no, um, yeah, Marvel, I think, definitely influences me. But then also media I see everywhere, other people's art. People in the guild's art, um, that kind of thing, and... Actually, yeah, I just, I try and incorporate everything. Yes, yes, but um, I try to incorporate everything I see, whether it's consciously and obviously sometimes I'll subconsciously incorporate stuff into my art, but I don't want it just to be, oh yes, comic style, or oh yes, cartoon. I want it to be my own, but I want it to be like an amalgamation of the things I like. So there's lots of different ways that stuff influences me. None of what I said made sense. All right. The word amalgamation. I always thought it was abomination, so I always said, "Yeah, it's an abomination of my art." <laughs> no, <laughs> no. <laughs> Until I knew what English was, and I was like, "Oh, <laughs> whoops!" Here's my art. It's an abomination of styles. <laughs> <laughs> what a great, nice. great roast, though. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Sorry that none of that made sense. Um. Amalgamate of styles, more like abomination of style. Uh, 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 anyhow, but that's very interesting. Yeah. But, but... So, oh, yes, thanks. Cohen, would you like to go? And if stuff that I said just didn't make sense, I'm happy to go again and it word it like me. a human. Okay, that's good. It kind of felt like I was just jibber- jabbering. Yeah. I mean... That's what a podcast is about. Just jibber jabber a lot. Jibber jabber. Yes. And cut three quarters of it out because otherwise let's it's going to run. Let's do an episode that's just us uh, saying jibber jabber five million times. I will not count Two that. As many times as um, Apali has watched her show. Uh, Apologies. I guess I'm the one that has to go now. What? Sure. Am I? Am I? So come oh, on if you don't. You meant to talk? I thought, yeah. Like, oh, you have to leave. Yeah, bye. <laughs> See you later. This is getting annoying. Everyone keeps talking, and it's not about what we're meant to. Goodbye. It's my go to leave. <laughs> uh, uh, wouldn't that be a definitely not Cohen thing? Yeah, no, it's actually not a Cohen thing. <laughs> oh, it's actually, I do have one thing to add for yeah. mine. If okay, so influenced my style and what I draw, but it's influenced how well I can draw. Because I would not know how to construct like faces and use construction lines in anatomy and that kind of thing. I would not know how to shade digitally. I would not know how to do most of the things I do in my art if it wasn't for media and access to the internet and the ability to watch things and learn and gather information. So yes, there's like the aesthetic style part of it that gets influenced, but also just the ability to draw and the ability to draw so like Some technical skills well comes from it. yeah technical oh, skills that's actually a good point that is not out of hand out of hand no yeah like that's actually a good point yeah it's a really good point out of the blue yeah okay I don't know you yeah. get a good Thanks. you get a candy thank you uh, <laughs> you can you can find I it re- in the white van just hop in there yeah <laughs> yeah I Do remember not it's not a trap I don't know who it was by so I can't give them credit, but I remember watching um a video on Procreate techniques when I just got my iPad and started to draw digitally, and it taught me the way I shade now. I would have okay. never been like, oh yes, I'll use a multiply layer on thirty percent to shade. Like, no, I would have never thought of that by myself. So media's it, it fast tracks progress by an insane amount. Definitely. 
Imagine using multiply layer on your art. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Does that count as cheating? No, it isn't. No, I am actually using multiply layer mostly for my shading because I'm too lazy to get the right shading colors. Well, I think I, it makes it look more unified when you use. I, I, I've tried it a couple of times, but uh, I really like just being able to like pick my own uh, shadow colors. I will yeah. use it sometimes if I want to just speed up the process. Honestly, it's not a bad thing to no, like no choose your it's own colors. Your tools. It's but like that, saying, but... hey, you have all these really cool pens, but you can't use them because that'd be cheating, right? Because Yeah, that, that's just silly. You didn't make them. That's just plain silly. Huh? Yeah. Plain silly. <laughs> it's a plain joke. <laughs> Good job, Cohen. You did it. You did yeah, it. Yeah, there was no build a little with, bit late. With, with a plane whatsoever. But no, there's uh, no context. I guess I have my head in the clouds. <laughs> <laughs> I think I will get Coda back for the next episode, but not Cohen. Yeah. <laughs> 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 then you Fair. just see Cohen in the comment section. Yeah, I got uh, I got booted. I got the boots. <laughs> Booted so hard you went up into the sky and landed on a plane. Yes. Got just kicked into the sky. I'll get into one very specific thing because in general mine's pretty standard and fairly uh, dumb. But I, I it's not, it's not dumb. Uh, it's sometimes, not dumb. sometimes, or what I had at some point was where I both really liked like comic stuff or video game stuff. But then also like ridiculously cartoony stuff. So like I had a bit of a crisis where I was like, do I want to keep doing cartoony stuff or do I want to try to get better and do like comics, comicy stuff or like more realistic stuff, grounded stuff, or do I want to keep doing cartoon? And that was basically me for a couple of months. And then I just did did technical skill stuff, and that just helped me out. And now I just draw whatever feels right. Okay, yeah, that's uh, that can lead to confusion sometimes, like uh, not being sure what you would like to do. I don't think your art is either extremely cartoony or like realistic or comic booky, but you can one hundred percent see aspects of both in it and painterly yeah. styles and all sorts. So it is an amalgamation, not an abomination, of um, <laughs> of Sorry for not being like, different styles. And I think you did a good job figuring out what to do about that, Colin. So yeah. Lots of trial and error on that one. I didn't. Sadly, there aren't many YouTube tutorials on how to get that stuff done because it's super specific. How uh, to get good? People. How to get good? Yeah, that's that's basically. Though I think what um, I solve it. I think what Christian said at Popcross about saying it's a style is a series of purposeful mistakes. I think yeah. that was a really good way to put it. Yeah, definitely. Every time you guys say Christian, I immediately think Coda. <laughs> When do you not think of Coda? Just... So far, you've called Cohen Coda. You've said that I'm Coda, but female and Australian. You've said Christian's Coda. <laughs> Everyone is Coda. I don't know. Everyone with a blow up Lapras. So it's like that one. Uh, it's like that one SpongeBob episode. You're Squidward, and you're Squidward, and you're Squidward. Who are you? Meow. <laughs> Never watched SpongeBob. What? Let's yeah, move on before we get into. Uh, <laughs> let's see. So, what do you guys think are like particularly really good things about media and how they can help you uh, in ways? And afterwards, we'll talk about the bad things and the pitfalls. But right now, let's focus on the good things. So, I think a very good thing is, for example, on Discord, you can have like friends you can talk to when you, for example, don't feel good about your art or you need help about something. Preferably not in the last stage of shading. Are you still salty really? about that one? It just happened yesterday, and I'm hungry. <laughs> Dang. Still, yeah. Opalia's rants, I think they've probably made up half of um, all the podcasts yeah. you've recorded. Hey. Yeah, most likely. But what, what do you think are the good things of like consuming media? Like, I think that, yeah, with social media, like you said, you can find so many new artists and it gives you a platform to share your art and then get feedback or find people who like it. And it's really cool being able to do that. And then also, um, I think having such a wide, such wide access to studies and improvements and things like Proko, it's really good. Oh, yeah. 
Mm-hmm. I love Bronco. Yeah. yeah, he's good. Uh, in- the inspiration, like I was saying, the X-Men stuff, great. It's really, really good to be able to just watch something and then immediately want to draw rather than having to like wait to want to and then forcing yourself to and then it's sucking because you didn't really feel like it and then yada, yada, yada. But um, yeah, no, not at all. I've never experienced that. Not once. It's not like it happens constantly. Um, yeah. Uh, <laughs> that sounded very depressed. <laughs> it, uh, it was, it was, it, it, I can speak. I can do maths and I can speak. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> the two things you need for a podcast. Yep. Uh, I think that there's new ideas everywhere too. And if someone makes a world or like if there's certain like fandoms or whatever, um, people can mm-hmm. build off that, assuming they don't do it in a destructive way. Um, and it just, it kind of, worlds out there of artists who've created characters and linked them all together and I think that that could be a really cool thing if like character building is something that you're into and you find a bunch of other people who are so I guess that could be one and exactly. also with the Koda and I are like character designers so we found each other and if you okay. the inspiration thing you can also just go on like an action movie or something pause it and bang you have a scene to draw like there's never exactly. a shortage of cool things out there Exactly. So one more thing. I've talked a lot, but I just remembered this. That's Stuff cool. like Inktober comes from media. Definitely Monthly true. challenges, things like that. So that's a really cool thing because so many people do it. <laughs> Imagine doing mermaid. <laughs> ha. Ha. Wouldn't be me. Ha. Yeah. Um, I wouldn't do mermaid ever. No. I wouldn't draw a bunch of really cool things and unique ideas for mermaid. No. No, I wouldn't. I'd never do that. Uh, God, because of day two of Mermaid, I was so depressed of that whole challenge that I just stopped. <laughs> Let, let's get a bit more specific, Opalia. No. If we go off track one more time, Cohen's going to turn into a serial killer. It, we won't be uh, talking about that anymore. Cohen was the serial killer all along. Let, let's now talk about the disadvantages of media. How can it be harmful to your art? How can it hinder it? How can it maybe even stop it? Bird, what, what are some of the bad things media can do to your arms? Right. Sorry, I thought Apalia was going to go first, but... Oh. Yes, but I'm okay. normally the um, first. I think... <laughs> <laughs> I think that uh, the pressure of like likes and followers, and if, if people get in their head about it too much, then it can halt improvement, and you can just get way too concerned with that kind of stuff on social media. And with social media, I think... If someone has an art account where they're expected to post regularly, it could stop them doing studies or that kind of thing because it wouldn't be as successful and it wouldn't be as well received. So it can stop improvement in that way. Everyone's drawing. like, I think that it can it can halt success because you're not as willing to do things that will get you to improve as you are. Things that will get you so that's, likes and followers. So that's very sure. related huh? to like uh, social media and stuff. Watch so many TV shows and go are they're on instagram so often and they follow like 10 billion people that they just don't draw anymore and their brains get like oversaturated with all sorts of stuff so when they actually do sit down to draw they just don't know what to do yeah so i have something the... else to add to go ahead okay cool sorry i thought you were saying something yeah i mean to interrupt but um they can, with what I said about just being able to pause any scene and draw it or whatever, if you are looking at superheroes or that kind of thing, it's not, it could halt your, um, it could halt your progress in a way that there's like a lack of diversity. So, you know, just the classic same triangle yeah. body shape. And it's just, it's everyone's kind of like the same body shape, the whole thing. So with, when I'm drawing superheroes, it kind of goes from Spider-Man to Captain America and it's just on a slider between those two it's it's never anything else yeah. but I find so, it hard to break out of that because that's what i enjoy drawing so it's kind of hard to expand my capabilities in that sense so it's mm-hmm. good to get like a variety of stuff in and not too much of it that it becomes oversaturated yeah because if i'm always drawing superheroes i'm not gonna know how to draw um someone no, who's women. not a superhero wow wow that was a good sentence for like, my behalf. Uh, <laughs> Black Widow doesn't exist. Yeah, I forgot about her. She's actually one of my faves. What the hell? There are so many I'm going to eat okay. you. <laughs> okay. 
<laughs> I thought you were referring to Crazy Chicken, like animation. Oh no. <laughs> I got really confused. Wait, crazy Chicken. Um... No, that was Robot Chicken. I'm thinking about what Crazy Chicken was. It's just um, we'll a person on the Discord thing. Okay, yeah, we'll that's a good later. idea. No more going off track. Exactly. We've said that a lot, but um, it's okay. Actually, okay. going off track in a podcast is good to fill time, but sure. Yeah, but we've been doing it for what? An hour? Uh, Opalia, what do you think are like major pitfalls of consuming media? Um, competitive ability? I definitely know how to... <laughs> yes. <laughs> so like comparing yourself to, to others? Yep. I definitely learned English. Yep. Dislike your um, subjection. Uh, in one of your know. podcasts you were like um someone was saying something was subjective and you were like well it's my subjection that <laughs> <laughs> i feel like you said that maybe i'm just yeah i probably they... said that my well, english is not the best don't watch the sixth episode because it's just two of us and we're both european so we don't have a coda to correct <laughs> us so it's just us butchering <laughs> the english language for like 50 minutes i'm 100 percent gonna watch it i need to know about that kind of stuff it came at a really good time, actually. Yeah. I, I meant about commissions, but sure. Oh, oh that took oh, a weird oh, turn. Okay. okay. A very weird turn. You do you, Apal, yeah? But please. Why do you talk cereal. about smelling people when you're hungry, Apal, yeah? <laughs> yeah, that's a bit concerning. Anyhow, Apal, yeah. Tell us about the major pitfalls of social media and media in general, like TV shows, you know? Yeah, so the biggest downfalls actually of social media are like um, stuff like uh, people looking at like art for inspiration, but then they are like comparing their art to the ones um, from like a better artist or like a more trained artist mm -hmm. and they think oh man why can i not uh, do as good art as i uh, as they do and it's pretty much like all the pressure and also like them only wanting likes at one point because they want to be seen and then they pretty much uh do like challenges and everything like fan art and stuff like that to gain more followers and don't uh, really try to get better at their art because they like when I was 13 I was definitely not patient enough to like learn anatomy and all of that they only see like the finished product and um, they think that they immediately could draw like the person doing the tutorial for example but what they don't see is like the amount of practice they did, like uh, color studies, form studies, anatomy, all that jazz. And um, most of the time they just think they're not good enough. Yeah. That's a big problem. It's interesting. Another... It's really dumb. Yeah, it's really interesting. It's really two sides of the same thing, isn't it? Because in one aspect, it gives you so much material to help you study. In the other, it, it kind of puts this pressure on for you to... Um, put out polished illustrations and I think it also depend on like um, motivation or drive to learn and get better or versus to gain followers because if you look at Cohen or if you look at Speed the amount they've improved like Cohen your skull drawing where you had the first one and the second that still blows me away it's so different it was so good yeah. so I think it's just the way I don't think that media is inherently good or bad for artists. I think it's the way you utilize it, in a sense. Yeah, definitely. The thing is, um, you should always consume the media and not, not let the media consume you. Wow, that's deep. But Inspirational. But yeah, generally, <laughs> a fi a g good things to keep in mind is to not consume too much media or else it will consume you. Hey, um, also to get a variety of stuff. Because I actually want to talk about this is that if you only take inspiration from a very specific kind of thing, then it, you won't end up being that very specialized thing. You'll just be uh, quite shallow and, not, and you won't, won't know how to do other stuff. So if you like, only uh, draw anime then you, and you can't like, push out of that, you can only draw like, pretty man faces and superheroes and start out drawing that like, idealistic 
like super mm. muscular body and then they have trouble <laughs> like doing other body types. <laughs> I uh, Hi. But no, I don't just, I think you're like one of the people who can actually kind of break out of that. But I've seen people who just can't draw any type of thing without making it muscular. And it's quite strange. Oh, well, I, I try yeah. to break out of it. I don't share all the art I draw by any means. I, a lot of the time it's just kind of half done doodles or whatever. And I'm not just, uh, the world doesn't need to see everything I've ever drawn. Otherwise they'd be seeing a lot of my art. So, um, I'd like yeah. To but yeah, I, I, feel like, most of it. I feel like all, <laughs> yeah. all styles have that pitfall and even like cartoony stuff. Like if you only draw cartoony stuff, you can't do anything that looks like remotely uh, close to life because it'll just end up looking kind of wonky. And yeah. even if you like only do realism, it can bite you in the uh, behind because then you can only, most of the time you can only like copy stuff and you can't make any up properly but anyhow so i don't i think think it's good to consume like a variety of stuff but you shouldn't force yourself to consume something for the sake of it being different you do need to actually enjoy it somewhat yeah that's true but like um you shouldn't overdo it like keep your stats to like one to five things yeah. Instead of like 20 to 30 things that you learn. Yeah, like I uh, said earlier. Because at one point it will just get too much. And if you choose like a small number, if you choose a small number, you will actually have an easier time learning those than um, when you um, just choose like everything to draw, you know? Just um, with what you said about the limitations of different styles, Cohen. Mm -hmm. Style is a series of mistakes, but it's also kind of a series of limitations because one style could do everything, then everyone would just draw in that style. It's always trade-ins, and that's what you kind of have to figure out. So I guess with your cartoon comic dilemma, you've had to figure out what you liked in different ones and what you'd have to sacrifice and that kind of thing. And that's why you had the dilemma to begin with. You know what I think is interesting? Uh, This is a bit off-topic, but you can literally draw, like, infinitely different things with a cartoony style, but you still have limitations, because if you (laughs) go too realistic with it, it's just comic book or realistic, you know? But you can still draw, like, infinite things with it. That's a a topic for another day. Continue. Well, sometimes combining styles, like putting something super realistic next to something cartoony, can create this kind of comedic contrast, so that's something that can be utilized for purpose in art. Yeah, that's true, but, like, um, I think that it also should kind of fit your style. Like, if you draw animals, then don't draw them, like, extremely cartoony uh, for your style, because then it would kind of clash, yeah. you know? But, like, you can also use that to make it, like, extra disturbing or, like, pop out more. Like, for example, in SpongeBob, when um, something is drawn, like, extremely realistic to make it unnerving. It is. <laughs> Actually, I'm going to mention Coda once again, uh, because he showed me like a cartoon pilot he made once, but never finished. And it had one of those scenes where uh, it was like, he drew like a really grotesque arm to make it creepy, like Spongebob does, you know? Except it just looked like a really, and he wanted to make it like super realistic, except by that point he wasn't, he was like, uh, he, he wasn't at the point where he is now, which is just God. Uh, he was, he was a bit, <laughs> like, at that point he had only drawn cartoons and faces on bricks or whatever. So when he drew, like, a real realistic arm, it still looked, like, super stylized and just gross in general. So I was like, hey, why, why is it in that shot, like, slightly more realistic, slightly weirder? And he was like, oh, well, it's supposed to be realistic. And I was like, okay. Uh, so that was a fun thing to see. I think that uh, ties back a few points we talked about. Speed and I have been doing that for uh, for a couple of albums where we just that's a that's a really good exercise to do in a way, and it relates to the theme of the episode, so I'm going to talk about it, which is basically where you hop in a voice chat or physically meet together. What you do is you is you meet together with a friend and you put on and you put on like a playlist of an album, and for every song you make like a little drawing, and you can base that on the feel of the song lyrics the time you get to draw is that entire song so i know 
if you had album X and first song uh, was three minutes long, then you would have three minutes to draw whatever that song makes you feel like. And it's best to do with like albums that you haven't because it's really like a, it's not an exercise of speed. Like it isn't. Oh, you need to draw something within three minutes because that's not I the biggest problem. That's the idea of the exercise. So yeah, I was going to say, how is it not with speed if you're doing it with speed? Well, it is partially about speed because you do need to get it done quickly. But the most difficult thing is just interpreting it. And wait, so the songs are from speed because it's about speed? Come on, let me just talk. <laughs> uh, yeah, it sounds like a really cool idea. It does. But, yeah, so, but the most difficult part is just interpreting it. Like, sometimes the, uh, the songs are so, like, metaphorical and, uh, like, deep that you just don't know what to draw at some point. And sometimes you might take it very literally, and that works also with, like, the song title. Mm. You know? Just draw the ocean, because it's so deep. Draw Coda's voice. <laughs> <laughs> draw an anatomical diagram of Coda. We have mentioned Coda so many so times much. in this episode. Coda, yeah, good Coda. I feel like we all miss him. Episode title, yeah. how media influences us plus Coda, but without Coda. Like in quotation oh, marks, we miss Coda. Yeah. Um, like the ultimate clickbait title. Um, Art Friends Podcast, episode eight, Gone Wrong. We miss Coda. Yes. Media in art? Question mark, question mark, question mark. Most media is actually just uh, art with a face mask on called media. Exactly. As we said in the beginning of the episode, even cereal boxes are kind of a way of media. Yeah, they're like, they're art. They have character design on them. They have illustrations on them. Exactly. And most things you see in daily life are designed by an artist. Like, like look around you at this very moment, that freaking uh, and a bowl of yogurt. Someone designed that bowl. Someone did. Someone designed my cat. Yeah. I see. Gina the Rascal, I um, yes. remember that. Yeah, like... Uh, but like even... Yeah, very interesting design. Even the graphic design you see on websites are just the general look of things. It's all designed mm-hmm. by Disc- artists, and that can inspire We're, um, you. Recording on Discord right now had to have graphic design. There's all the little icons on yeah. the side. Someone drew that. Everything is designed in some sense. Yeah. Damn, that's deep. Mo- most human. Deep as Coda's then. voice. That's the last uh, time I'll make that joke. I'm sorry. <laughs> that's very overused by now. It's the best. No joke. one this episode deeper than Coda's voice. Yes. <laughs> deeper than Coda's voice. We miss him and Opalia. Serial killers got to them. <laughs> Wait, Great way to tie it all together. Oh, here. no, Siri. How did the serial killers got to them? Oh, yeah. Hi, I'm Siri. I'm going to turn on, I guess. <laughs> hey, I'm the Siri killer. Dang. Siri killer. Hmm. Siri hate. You should Siri s- killer sounds like it could be some kind of like dystopian novel about artificial intelligence taking over and then this person set out to destroy it and he kind of. Please write that. All these virtual fights with if like. That movie Siri exists with Call Dips. Yeah, we, we, we got it. We own this stuff now. That's uh, what we can do for yeah. our trade, Amalia. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so late already. I should go. <laughs> uh, but yeah, yeah. In like three years. Before we end off, I just want to say that I personally really love to see how certain pieces of media influence and have influenced other people's styles. So when I hear Opalia, or when Opalia shows a music video she saw as a kid that's really inspired the way she draws eyes or and people in general. Mm. That, 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 that stuff makes me happy, now, and I think that's really interesting. And, yeah, to sit, like- and when I, especially when I do something like I introduce someone to a new artist, and in a few weeks I can see that artist kind of seeping into their style, I think that's really interesting to see. I agree, yeah. Creepy at all. Super cool. I just stalk people's heart, okay? Don't blame me. Okay. I'm playing. It's cool. Find okay. it very cool. But yeah, yeah. true. Uh, yeah, that, that, that's pretty much the episode. Talking about media, how it influences, inspires, distracts, what's good, what's bad, all the sort of stuff we just talked about. You just heard it. But what? You're the guest, but you can do the outro because you did the intro. Okay.
This was an episode of Art Friends. Like if you liked it, subscribe if you loved it, and I hope you have a great day or night or whatever it is where you are. Stay safe, wash your hands. Wash them to fill their bones. Um, do not do that. Draw. Preferably. I don't.